So today for Eva's Corner, you know, I decided to do something that's a little bit more personal. Something that, um, it's not just advice for parents, but it's an insight of about my life and kind of what I'm going through. And hopefully someone um, can relate and learn something from it. So for me, um, I just went through a name change for my firstborn, Marley Ray. So Marley was born um, in 2014 and I gave her her biological father's name. And um, after two months, you know, we became estranged and I raised her as a single mom. And then the good Lord saw fit for me to meet an amazing man, Michael Sterling, who has become my husband and the father of my later children. And so long story short, we all have the name Sterling and Marley is the only one with her um, biological father's name and you know I saw it necessary and Mike saw it necessary to change her name and so we've been going through the process which I must say is not an easy process it is not for the faint of heart but we've been working through it and yesterday I can say that thank you for the Honorable Judge Manning here in Fulton County Court uh, granted me a name change for Marley she is now officially and legally Marley Ray Sterling and so she asked for all vital records to be changed, her birth certificate, her social security card, health board, everything. And for my family, it's amazing because you know what? I never really wanted my daughter to feel like odd man out. And I didn't think about it when having her, you know, but now that I am married and I do have more children, it's, you know, she started our family and since you know she is the head as far as the kids are concerned i felt it necessary that she take the same name that we have and so you know that's where i'm at with it but my question today is at what point as a mom or even a dad do you do that you know when you're raising a child that has a different last name than the rest of your family when is it proper to change that child's name do you, t when is it proper to tell the child, especially in a case like mine where your child is young? And what's the cutoff age? So say you get married and your kid's like 11 or 12. Do you then change the name? Yeah, well that concludes Eva's Corner today. You can reach me on all social media outlets at Eva Marcel, E-V-A-M-A-R-C-I-L-L-E. Thank you.